okay. move a chess piece above the chessboard. Okay. This is a chessboard. You don't do this. Moving your chessboard forward, backward. No. Instead, you move your chessboard, chess piece above the chessboard. A brilliant practitioner should be able to go beyond the loop of duality or the swamp of intellectual thinking and reflect on their Zen meditation and work on their meditation for the truth of self nature, as if moving a chess piece above the chess board. Got a point? If you're continuously trapping yourself in your thoughts, in your likes, dislikes, that is wrong, right? That is, that is wrong means that you are not practicing that meditation, right? So what do you do? You move your chest piece above the chest board, right? So when you feel so stressful, you don't get rid of your stress to looking for relaxation. You will do that, I know, right? Yes. <laughs> but what do you do as a Zen practitioner? You dial down your mind movement. Yeah. You dial down this stressful eye, right? This eye feels so stressed. No self too. This eye want to get rid of my stress. No self too. What is no self? This way you move your chest piece above your chest ball, right? The good or bad, right? Move your chest piece above. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. And then in turn, moving a chest piece above the chest board is highly valued and widely known Zen teaching in Chinese Zen school. So whatever you encounter, whichever Zen question you have, however embarrassing, weird, frustrating the teaching you receive from your Zen master is, you just move your chest piece above the chest board, reflecting on your Zen meditation. Okay, this is how you do things. This is how a brilliant practitioner practice Zen meditation. <laughs>